Robbie Earl, where are mm. you with Eric Ten Hag? 18 months down the line, I've been in the charge of the football club and I don't quite still know what Ten Hag's Manchester United look like. We talked earlier of Unai Emery at Villa and De Zerbe at Brighton. And you know, listen, they got beat today, Brighton 6-1, but you know what Brighton are trying to do. Manchester United haven't always had much as much possession as you like, and Burnley they had less. But when they do have possession, I'm just not quite sure what's happening, why, where and when. And it looks like the players aren't sure. I think Musty said it's a bit off the cuff. How on earth can you have a manager of that amount of experience and success have a team that's off the cuff? It's looked like it today. I mean, listen, we can go back to last weekend. There was, there was, there was differences with that. That was better defensively, rolled up the sleeves, get the victory when they needed to do that. But it's kind of back to the attacking side of it. And that's where, for me, it's falling down. Now, we ain't got enough time to talk about the issues there when you think about uh, J Jaden Sancho and of course Anthony that are not available right now he's got left backs injured he's got Lissandro Martinez his best defender injured so there's a little bit of mitigation going on there but even so we played seven games Manchester United 10th in the league table after being third last year not it's good struggling enough. Now. okay Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.